Oh, that's bullshit. What the fuck? Ah! We're here. Okay, I didn't think I was going to be able to stream this. I'm happy I am, but I got to fix my fucking camera. I look awful. I've got the Bumble camera on, dude. I'm like four pixels up in the corner. Oh my god. That just looks like shit no matter what, huh? Okay. Dude. Why are we fucking homed in on me? I don't understand. I fucking... Every time I try to set this piece of shit camera up, it fucking shows me all fine. Fucking peaches and daisies, dude. And then it fucking goes into the stream and it's like zoomed in on me. Watch this, watch. Guarantee it's going to be like looking at my wall and like a quarter of my head. Oh, perfect, perfect. That looks awesome. That looks really fucking good. <laughs> that looks really fucking good, dude. And that guy's girlfriend cheated on him. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. That sucks. Oh, fuck. Can I get this work, man? Jesus. I did so much to fucking be able to be live right now. And I can't even get this fucking camera to work. Please, please. That's the best I can do. Awesome. Best I can fucking do. How we doing, everybody? Not the dude who got cheated on. We know how he's doing. I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> God, this fucking sucks. <laughs> this is the biggest I can go. If I go any bigger, it's fucking... It's looking at, like... It's looking at my jugular, or it's looking at the fucking curtain. Not even the curtain. My curtain fell down. Look at this. The, the, like, the post that my curtain is attached to just came out, like, two days ago. I don't have a fucking curtain now. I gotta, like, re-nail that. Stupid ass bullshit. So I got the sun behind me making it even harder to see me. It's cool. It's cool. I, I actually. I'm pissed off. I'm not in a state for this, right? I'm happy to be live with this shit, though. It took a whole fucking year, but we're, we're back. I'm sorry to anybody who thought they were actually going to be, like, frequently, like, keeping up <laughs> with the stream. Oh. Uh... Wait, wait, hold on. That's just, like, I, I don't understand. I genuinely do not, for the fucking life of me, understand. I'm unplugging this thing. Hold on. What cord are you? Fucking plug that shit back in. Hello? <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. We're, we're just going tiny camera. Are we cool with that? <laughs> Are we cool with tiny camera? It's the best I can do. It's, it's all I can do, bro. What? Why is it worse now? What could have possibly happened? It's, it's, it's fucked up when it's tiny now. I, do I just have to move? The... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab, I'm gonna grab my TV, like the Incredible Hulk, and I'm just gonna launch a hole through that motherfucker. <laughs> like a fucking hot dog. <laughs> like the center of a hot dog, I'm just gonna like rip all this shit out of it, bro. I'm so fucking pissed off. <laughs> Dude, okay, it was already bad enough before. Why the fuck did it move me? <laughs> oh my god, bro. I can't do this. Chat to speech? Chat to speech? Let's do that. Let's do chat to speech. Let's hear that. Someone say something. I'm finally a six ass a cat subscriber. Do not give us a voice. Huh? No, the left is good. <laughs> Are we cool with this? Can you guys hear that? Gee, this is so Stop good. saying boobs, dude. You're gonna get me in trouble, oh, dickhead. Rot. Do not give USA voice. Dude, all it takes is one racist motherfucker and my stream's gone forever. I'm getting rid of this ASAP. Dude, who the fuck is calling me from Dindron, Virginia? Every fucking day I get a call from Dindron, Virginia. Dude, this is going to be the worst fucking stream of all time. 
This, this, this has the making to be the worst stream fucking ever, dude. Wait, hold on. I think I fixed the camera. That's better! That's better! <laughs> That's better! It's tiny, but it's okay. We cool? What are we saying AO for? Did someone say something? I didn't hear it. Did someone say some stupid shit with a voice and I didn't hear it? What, what, what was said? Who do I gotta remove, dude? It says all on WWE? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> yeah, I'll post this to YouTube. Through my rage, dude. I'm seeing red right now. I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna have to stumble over to my iPad and fucking export this. Wife's good. Kids are good. Everything's good. Case got dismissed. And I've got a, I've got a sweet tea right in front of me. On the house. Free sweet tea. Okay, it's warm. That's okay. That's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. It's alright. Dude, do I look like I'm in heaven, dude? There's drywall behind me. No, I'm not in heaven. I've got, like, floor tile on my ceiling. Okay, let's hit this shit. I've, I've pushed this off for an entire fucking year. Not on purpose. I wasn't trying to dick you guys around. I'm sorry I didn't get to stream yesterday, by the way. That actually pissed me off. Just know that. Just know I was pissed I couldn't stream yesterday. I thought I, I thought I was going to be able to either today. I haven't played this season or watched it. I don't know anything about these games. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. That's pretty cool. I don't know shit about The Walking Dead flat. Don't even ask me. <laughs> I don't know anything. I'm cool with it. Been so hyped since August? I bet you got some gray hairs now, don't you? It's been a minute. That fucking five o'clock shadow's coming in. Got a beer gut. Hair got pushed back a couple centimeters in the time since, didn't it? I can't read that, my sweet teeth in the way. Oh, it says okay. Cool, all right. Favorite character from this game? I, I don't know, for, I mean, I like Lee, but I don't know if we gotta worry about that guy anymore. <laughs> oh, don't worry, they'll catch you up real quick. <laughs> Clementine. Clementine's note. I didn't really give a fuck about many people in this. Can't even see. God damn. I know who you are, and I know you Oh, I beat, I fucking smashed this guy's head. Looks like an AC unit. Lee, are those bad people dead? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it. Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that's still. Then of course I made her shoot him. <laughs> you serious? Must be where my mom and dad are. Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet. Clementine, Clementine. You think I'm not gonna make Clementine shoot Lee? We gotta make her strong. <laughs> okay. That's a bad situation. I'm not gonna be the pussy who says, No, just leave me. Move on. No. She wouldn't be we step up here. Okay. <laughs> Please, Scrappy, is there a fucking problem here? Jesus, she's about to rip the door off the hinges. This cat has no issues. The rest of the house is completely no. open. I just kicked her out for the stream. Uh, I want this to be known. Kristen. That cat is not abused. She just wants to rip my fucking door off the wall. <laughs> there it is. Money shot. I know uh, that that scene was so was so bad whenever I streamed the first season because I wasn't, I wasn't like crying, right? I was upset, you know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be a little, a little dickhead and say I wasn't moved. I was definitely upset, but I wasn't crying. And my room was like pitch black, but there was like a light under my desk, so you could just see my face like bast in shadow, <laughs> and it looked so scary. Dude. What do you think? 
Omi, oh yeah, I forgot about these dudes. Omi and uh, Krista, right? We are not doing that. Why not? Because. Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omi? We're not calling our baby Omi. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here. Omi the second. No. Omi Junior. No. Damn, don't don't do this. To admit it has a ring to it. Yeah, the ring of an egotistical maniac. What if it's a girl? And we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. Damn, I'm in front of the shit. How I'm in front of the shit. I'm in front of the shit. God damn it. I thought I had it, man. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I thought we were good. Hold on, hold on. Uh, center? That's, did I just move care. the chat? Motherfucker, dude. It matters to me, <laughs> unknown man. Did... You're not taking this seriously. <laughs> I take... Okay. Okay. I, uh... <laughs> we kind of wasted my time with that one. Everything serious. All right, there we go. Especially the uh, we just started Baku, nothing's happening. Uh, Lee's dead as fuck. Uh, Clementine's with these two. That's it, Remember we that time in Barstow? <laughs> Vegas weekend. Why don't you uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't care. Oh no, someone sub? Fuck. And make sure to keep I gotta get my things. phone. Be right next door. I can't say thank okay. you because it doesn't show up for me. One sec. I appreciate whoever you are. Give me like three minutes to load up Twitch on the website because I don't want to download the app. Hello. Fuck. One sec. Oh shit, multiple people. Hey, uh, thanks for the bits, Alora. Thanks. 70. Oh, Riders on the Storm. Your name's so fucking long, they gave you two lines. I thought your name was just 72. Like a lab experiment. Thanks for the sub. Thanks, Puckletons. Punkletons, sorry. And thank you, uh, Alora and whoever got gifted the thing. I don't know, I can't read that. <laughs> like, it doesn't show up. I can read. I'm literate. Like, I just can't see it. You know what I mean? What's up, B? A nasty ass name. A dude called Ass Cat just tells you he's a nasty name. You've got a mouthwash gargle username. Oh, gross. She's a gun. That's cool. I like that. That's good. <laughs> yeah, you, motherfucker. Is anyone else in your name? Ew. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Did it actually skip over you? I didn't see you did anything, man. Hey, Wasp, it's good to see you. And thank you, Cheerio Muncher, for the sub, too. Fuck, y'all are coming in, huh? No, if, if you want something to make fun of me for, I'm wearing a fucking tank top right now. Never in my life have I worn a tank top, but I've, like, I, I get cold at the nursing home, bro. It's just raw scrubs, and the scrubs are, like, for girls. I can never find, like, guy scrubs, and so they go down like this. I have, like, a boob window, dude. So, yeah, I just get fucking cold, and, like, my three chest hairs just hang out. So, I, I got tank tops, dude. Look at how fucking dumb I look. <laughs> look at how fucking dumb I look with this under me, dude. I look like an asshole. I look like a fucking dickhead. I do not like this shit. Tattoos not helping either, man. Whore? Me? <laughs> what did I do, <laughs> bro? What the fuck? Okay, whatever. <laughs> No, this is gonna turn into WWE. Wait till Clem runs into a zombie. Putting that motherfucker in Suplex City. Moon stomp off the top rope, break his ribs. I'm renaming this stream fucking Ring of Honor. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I'm not even a WWE guy. I don't know shit about professional wrestling. Uh, I just, I like making characters in the game and shit. I had some dude comment. Actually, Baku's in the chat. Okay. I want y'all to see what kind of person Baku is, real quick, okay? So, oh, look at my nail. Huh. Okay. Somebody comments on my post. 
uh, and he's like, dude, you look like CM Punk in Ring of Honor. And all I know about CM Punk is he's got a Pepsi tattoo and he had purple hair at one point. Okay. And so Baku always compares me to this motherfucker just because he had purple hair at one point. That's it. That's it. That's all. That's all. So when that guy comments on my post saying that, I tagged Baku and said, run this down for me. Did he have red hair or what? And Baku just said, I already talked to you about this. Okay, we're not going to burn Baku on the stake. That's insane. That's insane. I, I, like, I'll beat Baku's ass in a couple months when I see him in Mexico, but that's it. The, the offer is not up. We're not burning Baku at the stake. That's fucking crazy talk. But I just want you guys to know that Baku's a dickhead. And they did that to me in public. Did that to me in public, in a public comment section. My comment section. That's all. Thank you, Mud. I can't read shit because of my fucking Milos, dude. Use bottle of water. What are we doing? Is she dirty? Yeah. Oh, triangle. Okay. I feel like a fucking chimpanzee learning how to play video games right now, dude. I mean, we'll probably play every season. I might be like 36 with kids by the time it happens. Okay, you should order butter chicken. You just eating butter chicken raw, or does it come with anything? You got, like, naan or anything with it, or you just straight raw dog and butter chicken? I understand where you're coming from either way, but I'm just wondering. I'm about to get grabbed, ain't I? Ew. By, the, by a toilet walker. It's a person, dude. <laughs> dude, she can hear you quivering. They go, ah, ah. Damn. That fucking sucks, huh? Dude. I see you. Yeah. Get out of there. You're not fooling me. That's my gun. It's yeah, mine fuck now. you. Give it back. Why should I? Get out here. Just grab something nasty and throw it at her. You're in the nastiest bathroom in the fucking world. You got anything on you? Come on, let's see. I ain't gonna ask again. No, that's all I have. That's it? How'd you make it this long? I'm serious, what else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me, I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not... What do you mean eat ass or suck toes? Those things aren't mutually exclusive. I'm going to say it right now. If you eat ass, you probably suck toes. And if you suck toes, you probably eat ass. Why are we being ridiculous? That's like saying fucking Arby's or Hardee's. If you eat one of those places, you probably eat both. And you should be held accountable for that, too. Okay, let's make that clear. You need your ass beat for both of those things. Damn, Alora. Fuck, thank you. Lullabies, we don't do the badass nickname shit anymore. You know that, right? Parties? Oh, that's right. Y'all probably call it Carl's Jr. <laughs> I'm gonna get a hamburger from Carl's Jr. Dumb fucking name. <laughs> Dumb ass name. <laughs> fucking Carl's Jr. Uh, what's a good nickname? Lullabies. This is the last one. I'm not doing this shit again. Uh, Lullabies. L. What's something cool with an L? Luchador. Uh... Luchador, Dinosaur, Lolasaur, Lolasaur. Do you like that? We fucking with Lolasaur? Lola Beast! Lola Beast! 
That's hard as fuck, dude. Make it like King Ghidorah, like Monster Zero. You're the L Beast. Huh? Let's get L Beast turned in the chat. Five Dale Bucks for everybody who says L Beast in the chat. Actually, L Beast just sounds like you fucking never win. That just sounds like you've got a crazy loss record. Also, that Dale Buck shit is a lie. I literally can't do that. I probably, I probably can. I don't know how. I'm not doing that. Screwing around. Come on. Just walk away. Whatever. Give me that hat. No. Yeah, fuck Please you, do. dude. Cole. I asked you a question. None of your business. Just give it to me. I'm the main character and I'm eight years old. I can't die. I'm gonna be an asshole. <laughs> I've got plot armor. I'm not a 37-year-old man like jump. last season. You can't kill me. <laughs> Look at all this junk. You can't fucking kill me, bro. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was Just frisbee catch. a toilet seat at this motherfucker, my maid, please. You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. <laughs> you gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? What a bozo. God damn it, dude. Don't turn around! Did he get shot? <laughs> are you serious? Are, are you serious? Is that my fault? Kill her! <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Put her down! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, should I restart? I feel like this wasn't meant to go down. I think, like, was this my fault? Is it because I was being an asshole? Unavoidable. He dies either way? Okay. Uh, yeah, blast her ass then. Clementine, walk up and put your hat on her or something. Just start talking shit. Talking all that shit, looking like shit, shit, and more shit to start homie, fucking going homie, crazy. Homie, can you hear me? Homie. Start searching through her pockets, pulling out lint and shit, going, oh, is that all? <laughs> Damn, dude. That guy was cool. I liked him. He looked really funny right before he died, too. That's bullshit. They didn't tone that scene correctly. I didn't realize there were stakes there. Damn, okay. <laughs> Just doing the come and see stare at the camera. Same outfit too. You know, Clementine smells like dog shit. Krista, talk to me. <sighs> Try a rabbit. I was thinking about it. It looks strange, no but I think it's just a rabbit. Look at that. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. It's more smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. It's okay. I can wait. <sighs> All we do is wait. And for what? You should be. Is she doing not pregnant this, anymore? Not me. Or what? Well, no, of course fire, she's not pregnant. So what the fuck am I talking about? It's been warm. 16 months. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise. Oh. Okay. I think I'm supposed to be wondering that, but thank God I have unknown man 004 in the chat to let me know. We can't stay in one place Don't bring up Omid. What an it's awful idea. We need to keep moving. All we do, all we have ever done is move, but we never seem to get anywhere. 
Well, did all we can do, Clementine. Well, I don't think we can kick it with her anymore. This is bad. Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about coal. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet. Then ice. Then snow. It won't be easy. I don't have anything to say. It's, it's kind of a lose lose scenario. I was trying to talk to her right now. We just need to keep moving north. And I get it. I mean, nothing really, nothing really bright to talk about. I'm not mad at her. I understand, dude. Don't don't say any of these. I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. That backpack's actually awesome. <sighs> Just gonna make me look through shit to get me sad before I can find the lighter. No, I have not played that. I get compared to the, the fucking girl with the blue hair and the beanie a lot, though. <laughs> Suck. What am I using? What did I light on fire? Did I just light the picture of Lee on fire? Better, but still not enough. The flames are too low. Did I just like? <laughs> did I just get rid of the only memory of my fucking father figure for charred rabbit? <laughs> yeah, launch that shit in there, bro. Why was that not our first this idea? <laughs> I hope. Log? <laughs> I hope so. I am nothing like Melania Blade of Mikola, dude. Talking out your ass. Stink of shit. <laughs> Burn log. Burn the thing that doesn't have sentimental value, bro. What are we doing? How do y'all do this tank top under your t-shirt shit? I've never been more uncomfortable in my life. Would you eat that? I mean, yeah. Probably. Don't fucking lie to us! Who do you think you're fooling here? Give us the truth and you don't get hurt! You fucking with me? Where's the rest of your group? I'm by myself. Bullshit. She's lying. Cut the shit, lady. She doesn't let me it's, carry it's a gun anymore, me. does she? What the yeah, fuck you, pussy. Enough to get out of this. Just come out. God damn it. 
Oh yeah, I was right. <laughs> On guard, motherfucker! Jesus, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Leave me alone! Stop fucking running! It's swarming! Ah! 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 Let go, you little bitch! Jesus Christ! Yeah, fuck your son. Come out of there! You should know to kick dudes in the dick by now, Slim. Kick him in the dick! It's right there! It's open! Deserve is wild. I think it's a pretty reasonable thing to say. This motherfucker in the woods and a zombie apocalypse just went after a five year old and started grabbing her, going, Shut up, bitch! I'm gonna kill you! Oh, dude, I think that's deserved. I think at the moment in your life where you're, you're chasing a preschooler, maybe it's time you get your fucking neck ripped out. <laughs> okay? Thank you, Daria. I remember mentioning that name. It's a cool name. Derek Sakai. <laughs> that shit doesn't go together, you know? You just don't expect that. Hello? <coughs> Randy Tudor? Maybe the worst name of all time. Jared Emerson Johnson? Too long. That'd be awesome, dude. That's gonna be my pen name if I ever, like, actually get around to making the comics I wanna make. I'm gonna have, like, a really inconvenient pen name that no one wants to say out loud. One of those ones where you see it at Barnes & Noble and you're like, you know, I'm gonna look through that. I'm gonna take a picture of that. That's free publicity. Just name yourself, like, John Jackamoff or some shit. <laughs> Make it simple, just name yourself like Jack Penis. What's the worst name ever? Probably like anything with Hitler in it, I think. I mean, there's just no shake in that. Thanks, Sizzleback. I thought you called me Lil Bro at the end of that. I was gonna get mad. Tired of getting Lil Bro to my own stream. Richard Weasel would probably be like a really trustworthy character, though. Richard Weasel is one of those ones where since his name's Dick Weasel, you just assume he's like mischievous. <laughs> you assume he's nefarious in nature, but I guarantee you'd actually be like a really swell guy.
Nice. Excellent display, Quinn. Would you name someone Dick? Okay, to be fair, Dick can be cool. Dick can be a cool name, alright? Generally speaking, it can be like ass. Like, if your name's Richard Johnson, you're Dick Johnson. That sucks, right? But then you got like Dick Grayson. That's Nightwing, ain't it? That's hard. Let's be real. You know? If your name was like Dick Cutter, woo! I'm not fucking with you. <laughs> no one's fucking with you. Imagine, dude, you work at a gas station, you ID check some guy, and his name is like Dick Ripper. You're gonna go, here you go, sir. <laughs> Matter of fact, can I put my fucking discount on this? <laughs> can I give you a discount, Dick Ripper? Dude, Dick Weezer is ass. Be, be realistic. You know that sucks. Why were you even asking me that? What about Dick Weezer? No. <laughs> you typed that and sent it? <laughs> I bet you thought about it, too, didn't you? <laughs> You backspace before you sent it. You said, this ain't even worth it. But then you just put the letter back and sent it. <laughs> yeah, Dick with a good last name is a great name. Exactly. <laughs> Dick can't carry itself on its own. You need something more. Give me a name and I'll give it to one of my fish. You don't want to do that. Not with me. <laughs> you don't want to do that with me, buddy. There's a deer. That's a dog. I'm going to tease this. Okay. <laughs> Damn, that's an ugly ass dog. It's that dog's okay. got a man face. It's okay. Dog's name is probably fucking Stuart. This dog's name's Dick, dude. Don't talk to the dog. This dog's gonna bite me. Okay, you don't like that. Got it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, chiseled fucking dog, dude. What's he doing? Hey, what'd you find, boy? Mustard's a cute name. Where are you going? Mustard's also a name that would not go with Richard. Dick Mustard? You just sound like you stink like fucking hell. Stinkiest motherfucker of all time award this year goes to Dick Mustard. <laughs> I can, I can definitely see that. Hunter, Tanner, Tucker, three names that no matter what, it's going to take me a minute to warm up to, I feel. Let's look around for some food. I, the name Hunter pisses me off because I never say Hunter. I'm kind of forcing myself to do that T. I don't like where that T is located. There's no name where you let that shit fly and it's Hunter. You can't say that naturally. I always say Hunter, right? And if I say Hunter, then I sound like the redneck. And then I will be ostracized. <laughs> right? And that pisses me off. Your name shouldn't fucking... Your name shouldn't make me look like an asshole, man. Don't be named Hunter. Hunter? Hunter. I like Hunter. But I don't want to say Hunter. You know, because... Whatever, it ain't even worth it. Oh, That motherfucker looks, looks like a like Hunter. a happy family once. I hope they left some food behind somewhere. Gabriel, a cool ass name for real. Everybody, Gabe chatted in the spot. We've got an emoji for that. Everybody use your Gabe spotted emoji. <laughs> Tier three subs, use the Gabe spotted emoji. <laughs> this is the occasion we have it for. Dude, that's awesome. Can I keep that? Hmm, nothing edible. No, it's cool though. Dude, fuck you, Clem. I'd make a fucking necklace out of that thing, dude. Is Alex a cool name? Alex is like pretty middle of the road. I feel like Alex is just like solid. Better keep looking, boy. It depends. I mean, if it's if it's just Alex, I feel like it's cool. But I feel like whenever you go into territory like Alexandria, I feel like you're doing a little much. Not you know? much of a tent anymore. I bet scavengers tore it apart. Alex is cool too, because that's kind of like an androgynous name. Does androgynous even apply to that word? I just mean that could go both ways. What's that? A hey bisexual boy, name? What's the matter? <laughs> a, like a... Whatever. You know what I mean. You know exactly what I'm trying to say. They have to be quiet. Yeah, Alexandria probably goes hard if you're a fucking peasant in the 13th century. And that's your town crush. <laughs> mm. 
Alessio? That's just cool as fuck, dude. It's okay. He's dead. Uh, he's moving. Look, you can see the bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out. But that never works. Ever. It's okay. I have two brothers named Storm and Murder. Tell them to join the X-Men, man. All of them. Quit fucking around. I feel bad for doing him like this. I mean, he never had a chance in hell. Stand back, okay? Riot and Rebel? I don't like that. I don't like Riot or Rebel. Those are, those are actually... If you wanted, a, if you wanted a, a Dale score, that's two, like, zero out of ten names. Your name's like Rebel Jackson or Riot Smith. I don't trust you for fucking shit. <laughs> Frederick Moss? Sounds like that could be a cool guy. I don't know. Fred Moss? I can fuck with Fred Moss. Riot Rebel? Well, Riot Rebel is the most racist person to ever live, then. Riot Rebel bleeds red, white, and blue. Riot Rebel's fucking ringtone. Is heaven ain't a lot like Dixie. <laughs> I fucking hate that song. <laughs> I fucking hate that song, dude. I working at the nursing home all they play is country because this is like a bunch of like old like rural motherfuckers. Okay, so I get it. I turn it on for them. They get hyped, right? They're cool with it. But some of their shit is so incredibly ass. It's crazy. I in fact I got in trouble and. Okay, Toby Keith was playing, and Toby Keith's music sucks <laughs> to me. I don't like Toby Keith's music, and I've heard he's a bad dude, too, okay? So I'm going to put it on the table, just slap my balls out. I don't like Toby Keith, all right? That being said, I didn't know that the day I posted Toby Keith fucking sucks on my story was the day that Toby Keith had just died about an hour before I posted that. I had people mad at me, dude. I had people like... Do you really think that's the time? So I deleted it, just out of respect. But like, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'll, I'll put it like that. But some of the country music, I've, I've kind of come around to. Okay, I don't like a lot of it, but like, I, I always shit on Johnny Cash just as a joke because my buddy Mud loves Johnny Cash, and I, I just think it's funny, right? Johnny Cash kind of fucks a little bit. Okay, I don't know anything about him as a person, but like, boy named Sue, fucking. That won't back down shit. I mean, I remember that from Barnyard. That's hard, right? Uh, fucking Highwayman. Highwayman's cold. Highwayman is a cool-ass song. Devil Went Down to Georgia. That's not Johnny Cash. That's the other dude. That song's fucking awesome. Devil Went Down to Georgia. I mean, we need, like, five movies about that, right? I need, like, an extended Devil Went Down to Georgia cinematic universe, all right? Shit like that? I'm coming around a little bit, okay? I am, truth be told. That being said, some of that shit is ass. Like, real ass, okay? And he if Heaven Ain't a Lot Like Dixie, that's top of the ass. That's right, that's right in that part that you miss when you wipe, right? I don't have a part that I miss when I wipe, but I also acknowledge that I'm not working with a lot of ass. And I know my, my well, my well-cheeked brothers probably do have some trouble digging in there. You know what I mean? That's like, what for, that's what bidets are for, you know? It's for people with, with ass. Me, I just, I just wash that shit in the shower. <laughs> but, uh, what the fuck was I talking about? I had, some, I had somewhere to take that. There was a reason I was talking about ass. I had somewhere to go with that. Never mind. Uh, anyway, I'm saying, heaven ain't a lot like Dixie is ass. That's all fucking sucks. But some country, I'm, I'm, I'm coming around the corner to it. Okay, I'm opening up a little bit. That's all. I don't like this dog, dude. Actually, while we're talking about it, I think bidets should be a more normal thing. 
Okay, I've never had a bidet because they're kind of like expensive, right? But I like I was at a like a rich person's house at this party one time. Horrible party, horrible party. I accidentally broke their like two hundred dollar hookah, and I literally like moved the drunk guy passed out on the floor next to the hookah, so they just assumed it was him and they couldn't be mad. And I went home. Okay, but when I was there, when I was there, they had a bidet. I I didn't even shit. I didn't even shit. I just went in there and like just used it because I was like, oh fuck. Bidets are awesome. I think that should actually just, like, start to be a thing. Because, I, I hate to say this, I think most of the population of America does not wash their ass. I mean, real talk. I don't think they do. I don't. I mean, half the dudes that I've talked to in my lifetime literally admit that they don't wash their ass. And that's fucking scary to me. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like walking around and knowing we've got non-ass washers among us. Okay. I feel like natural selection should have taken those motherfuckers out with gangrene or something. They should have got ass disease, you know? But they didn't. They're still here, and they still stink, okay? I feel like bidets, literally, just start putting them on toilets. Make it, like, essential. I want it to be, like, a federal law that bidets have to be installed in your fucking toilet. And I don't even have a bidet, right? But I wash my ass. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying, we... We need to work towards a world with less crusty ass motherfuckers. Because I'm I'm not like I don't know, that that affects people. That affects people. You you think it's like a, a selfish act. You know, like like I think not washing your ass, that's bad for you and that's also selfish. You don't realize that it's bad for you, but it's also bad for everybody else. You know other people can tell when you don't wash your fucking ass, dude. Like it grant mm, No, no. We're good. Okay. <laughs> That's all. I just wanted to get that off my chest. <sighs> Still pretty sharp. At least we found something useful. We won't feel like a gross peasant when I use a toilet window bidet. I always just put a little bit of water on my toilet paper. That's I, I think that's solid. Wanna play? Wanna Watch play my life? Dude, there was a time in my life, a year ago, where I ran out of toilet paper and I, I couldn't like legally drive, so I didn't want to like get in my car to go get some more. And all I had were these like lemon scented Clorox wipes. And I just used those for like the whole month. And I I didn't think it was bad, but apparently, like, they even have, like, a note on the back of it. It's like, don't wipe your ass with this shit. <laughs> There's, like, a note, like, on the back, and it says, do not wipe your ass with this. Like, word for word. Like, straight up, like, don't wipe your ass with these. I, but, I mean, I don't know. I didn't think it was that awful. Catch? I didn't bleach my asshole. That, that, that doesn't... If I put a Clorox wipe on my head, I'm not going to have bleached hair. This isn't what we're doing. Good boy. Good boy. Can I throw that to him again? Want to go again? Let's go again, Ronald. Fucking <gasps> ugly ass dog. Actually, he probably has a name. Let me look at his collar. We, we talked about this 20 minutes ago. You've been thinking about that. You've been thinking about that. You have been thinking. That guy's been thinking. That guy's been thinking. That guy just came in 20 minutes after the ass and toes debate, and he just said, I think I'd eat ass, but I wouldn't suck toes. He's been thinking. He's been weighing his options. Hold him accountable. Hold him accountable. Throughout all this that's been on his mind. Matter of fact, we just talked about shitting, and he brought that up. Hold him accountable. Of course you're the one who asked, you fucking freak motherfucker. What are you sending? What is that? Oh, that's LeBron. God. I am so sick of that smell. That's that dumbass, like, 
<laughs> evangelical picture of LeBron. I uh, I went to see Love Lies Bleeding with this person I've been hanging out with, and um, there's a scene in that movie, like that's a freaky ass movie. Okay, that's that's a freaky ass movie. And all we knew about that movie going in was that one dude who got arrested for like doing coke and jerking off in the theater while watching that. And I just wanted to be known that I don't think anybody is lower in hell, like in the hell ranking, like the hell leaderboards, than that motherfucker did. There's a, there's a toe scene in that movie. It, it fucking, it floored me. I mean, we looked at each other immediately. It's like out of nowhere. They're like, Kristen Stewart's character is like, uh, like shooting this, uh, like the steroid needle into the, the girl who's a cop in real life. I don't remember her name. Fuck that actress. Um, but Hitler is probably lower than him. Thank you, Mud. Uh, Hitler is lower than him. Thank you, Mud. Um, but they're shooting, she's like shooting steroid in her thigh and like, it's like a cutesy moment where she doesn't get the pull up off and they fall, they fall on the ground and they start like wrestling and shit. And she just goes like, she literally like army crawls, like 10 feet back, grabs the foot and bites the toenail. It goes, it makes like a Dorita noise. And she's like on the toe. Oh my fucking God. I was like, I felt like fucking, I felt like something bad happened to me, bro. Love lies bleeding. I'm talking about love lies bleeding. She had that tone in her mouth for like 15 seconds, and it was the longest 15 seconds of my life. But yeah, Katie O'Brien's an ex-cop, and she talks about it in a very positive light. Think anyone's been sleeping in here? I can't tell. Yummy crunch when they bit the toenail? What the Maybe fuck are you talking about? I told you it sounded like a Dorito. Does that sound satisfying to you? Does crunching into a toenail like a Rito sound good? Uh, it was an okay movie. I, I think the general consensus everyone has is that movie is just like, okay, I think it's cool. It, it's kind of like corny at times. Like there's, there's definitely certain moments that's super hard to take seriously because the, the bad guy in that movie, the bad guy in that movie is like this like old balding dude, but he has like really long hair on the sides, which is bald on the top. Right. And every time something evil is mentioned, like murder, it shows him on the screen in, like, a pitch black room with red neon lights. And it, it plays, like, ah, like, screaming. And he goes, like, and, oh, my God, I could not take that shit seriously. It'd be, like, like, uh, fucking Catherine Stewart's character would be talking about how she, like, hates her brother-in-law. And she's, like, I'm gonna kill him. And it does an audio cue, and it shows this bald motherfucker going every time. It's the same shot every time. It, it was killing me, dude. Catherine Stewart, did I say that on accident? Whatever, bro. <laughs> Dog, come here. I'm trying to see your name, man. <laughs> Can't do that. Can't see. Come here. Find anything yet? No, he didn't, dude. Think he's fucking looking? He's not helping you. He's dog. <laughs> 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 Whatever. <laughs> I tried to look at his collar, asshole. There wasn't even an option. No food here either. <laughs> Why do you think I walked up to the dog to ask him his name? I was trying to look at the collar. It's not a button, though. Oh yeah, that dog's out of reek. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I feel like I talked about dumb shit for too long. Now we're just lost in camp. The dog looks like he speaks English. That looks like he speaks English, but he puts, like, French in his Tinder bio to look fucking cool. I literally, I have Spanish in my Tinder bio. I don't speak Spanish. I know, like, I know, like, 200 Spanish words, and I don't even know how to use half of them properly in a sentence, so. Oh, can I go this way? No. Blood. Check the trash. Is there trash? I'm not, okay, I respect dogs, I'm not the hugest dog fan in the world, I've kind of got a little bit, I've got a little bit of dog prejudice, just because I, I've always, like, I, I love animals, right, we take care of animals, we got a bunch, and so I'm cool with dogs, but every dog lover in the world wants to call me a fucking idiot for being cool with cats, cats ain't that bad, dude, I'm gonna be honest, if a cat's a dick to you, it's because you are not treating that cat right, dogs are just unconditionally kind, right, and good for them, good for dogs for having a good heart. 
But cats aren't going to take your shit if you're a dickhead. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so, whenever these people are always like, cats only care about themselves. Cats don't give a fuck about their owners. You're just admitting that you feed your fucking cats leftover fucking chicken Alfredo out of the microwave. <laughs> like, you're just admitting that you have the cat shit in a corner on a paper towel, you know? Well, here we go. Oh my god. Thank you. Yeah, literally, exactly. Dogs are like the Stockholm Syndrome animal. I mean, look at this dude. Yeah. <laughs> Let's He's been kicking it here in Smellsville with a zombie tied to a tree for fuck knows how long. Is it going to ask me if I want to share with the fucking dog? I'm going to share with the dog. What if there was an option, and it, it was just the, the knife picture, and it was, like, right on this dog's head? Would you guys freak out? He looks hungry as hell. <laughs> Don't worry, dude. Puncture lid? Puncture lid? Oh, I got a good bowl. What is this, beans? These do not look. Mm. <sighs> thank God. I wouldn't be saying thank God to that shit. Give that dog some. Give that dog some nasty ass fluorescent beans. I guess you are pretty hungry. That's too. corn. That's even worse. Here you go. Damn! Beat his ass! Whoa! Kill him! You fuck up! I knew you weren't shit! Chase that dog, kill him, we're eating him. That's like a week of food. Kill that skinny fucking awful animal. He's got your fucking beans, dude! Go after that dog and skin him. That's a jacket. You can finally have a new fucking piece of clothing. Oh, now you're whimpering. Like a fucking manipulator. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I'm not putting you out of your misery. Realize what you did, you fucking asshole. Little greedy little bastard. Little greedy little fucker. I was working with you, pussy. I could have been your friend! <laughs> Fuck you, I'll put you down. I'm not evil. Let me, let me put this dog down. I'm sorry. I actually feel terrible. I don't feel good about that at all. That dog is a fucking gaslighter, though. What do you mean dog killer? You want me to leave him there and let him, like, fucking die? That's awful. That's terrible, dude. I will put the dog out of his misery. Whether or not that dog is an evil, greedy bastard or not, I will put him out of his misery. Bet you would have let a cat live. You know what's impaled by two spikes isn't living either way. You understand that, right? We're on the same page on what leave dog meant. You realize what leave dog implied, right? Leave dog didn't mean he'd go, Whew! Glad I got those out. Hey, I'll see you later, Clem. Leave dog meant that went on for about, like, an, another hour. <laughs> leave dog didn't mean he's rebounded from that, okay? That leave dog isn't dog lives. <laughs> leave dog is died, like, dog dies later. <laughs> That's not true. You're, you're, you're saying bullshit. <laughs> that little scene with that dog, that's just a litmus test for Clint. That's all that is. That's, do you, do you forgive the damn dirty animal? <laughs> or, or do you fucking, or do you use, like, vengeance and hatred as your motor? Well, yeah, no, Clem's actually dumb for not hauling that dog back. 
That is food. I feel like that's the even trade-off, right? I'm not an evil person. I don't want to see any living thing suffer, right? So I put the dog down. That being said, my payback for you spilling my fucking corn on the ground and biting me and giving me like a disease, your dinner. I feel like that's an even trade-off. I feel, I feel like we both went there. You get put out of your misery and I eat since you got rid of my fucking corn and you gave me rabies. It's just the best thing we can do moving forward. Man, that dog wasn't even big and greedy. That dog was small and greedy. Small, greedy, and plain out nasty. My fault for feeding the dog. I think he would have been angrier if I didn't feed him. I think there would have there would have been a more vicious assault. That's bullshit. That's super bullshit. That guy's not a high schooler. Take that fucking jacket off. You're bald on the top, dude. Motherfucker goes to varsity games at the ripe age of 48. Clint, put this motherfucker down. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Slim, get this motherfucker off you before he asks where his hug's at, dude. Holy shit! Hello? He's running to the Terminator? <laughs> Come on, kid. We gotta get Oh, hell yeah. Redneck in the apocalypse. For some reason, the most trustworthy motherfucker. You wouldn't expect it. <laughs> Man, he runs like a dipshit, dude. Dude. He's doing the run me and my friend Eric did for a, Sma a Spanish video. Hold on. Is this music over? Okay. In Spanish class, in like 10th grade, me and my buddy Eric recorded a uh we recorded like a video for one of our other friends i don't remember who but it was like it was like a it was supposed to be like a funny video and i was supposed to be a dragon but we didn't have any dragon shit right so the way i portrayed flight was basically eric would like put his hands on my shoulders like this like like he's like riding me like i'm a dragon and i did that exact run that guy just did put my hand on my gut and like do like up kicks like that. Like a fucking idiot. Like slapping your ass with your foot while you run. That's exactly what he just did. That just took me back. That just took me back to the worst years of my life. Oh, by the way. Honorable note. Throughout that entire video, when we played it in front of the whole class, nobody laughed. Nobody. Okay, let's see your dragon run, asshole. Too far? Your name's Too Far. I don't even need to do anything else with you. Time him out. Time out Too Far. Any mods in here, get rid of him. I'm not entertaining this. Fuck no, I don't have that video. And if I did, I wouldn't post it. I was bald back then. I, I shaved my head for New Year's. I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. W mods. Did someone actually time that guy out? I'll feel bad. Hey, you all right? Oh, thank you, Zoe, for the uh, for the sub. And thank you, Alora, for gifting like 30 of those motherfuckers. I can walk. Oh, was that so? Because last time I saw you, you could barely crawl away from that lurker back there. Look, you're in bad shape, kid. I should probably let these guys know about the dog back there. They probably lay boss him. Oh, we should eat that! <laughs> Motherfucker sounds like he's from Alabama. He probably already eats a dog. Where are the, uh, the people you're with? <laughs> he lives in a shack in the woods and he's got to fight off, like, feral wolves and shit. He already knows. <laughs> I'm alone. Everyone I know is gone. It's just me now. I'm sorry to hear that. I just lost a sister. We've all lost folks. Why would you say that? Say what? Well, I'm Luke. And this is Pete. The Alabama thing? Hi. 
Is that offensive? I'm just calling him a redneck. That's it. If that's offensive, I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything by it. I was just saying, this dude probably has to fight off like packs of coyotes and shit. Coyotes? 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 Continue. I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're going to take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like... I like how this guy looks. Oh, shit! What? What is it? It's a dog bite. <laughs> God damn it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we going to do here? They're not going to believe no, me if I say that. it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. It's not. Hmm. All right. Let's see it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, watch yourself. Actually, I don't like this guy's look. I didn't realize his beard is like chin only, and then a mustache. That's bad. I don't like this guy anymore. This dude seems cool though. Old dude. See. Fuck the other guy. Is it uh? Is it like she says? Hmm. Well, could be a dog. Hard to say. It's like clearly a dog. So where'd this dog go? One that did this. What? What, what does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I. I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. <laughs> I was wrong about this guy. Never mind. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? Yes, dude. Look me in the eyes when you answer. Yes. Hmm. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I fuck with Pete. I like Pete. I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always well, fuck beat me Luke. At... I'm calling him puke, dude. This guy can eat shit. Sure. Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Damn, he's got bitched. Damn, and he looked him in the eyes afterwards, too. Dude, I would be mortified. If some dude, like, sat me down in my place, he's like, you don't make that call, motherfucker. And then he went... <laughs> I'd, I'd actually start crying, dude. <laughs> Fucking grinning at me with his big-ass frog eyes. How long do you think it lasts in a real zombie apocalypse? Not long. I'm fine. I feel like I'm. Better be fine, cause I ain't carrying you anymore. That I'm a little bit too trusting of random people, and I, I'm also kind of a yes man. I mean, like if like a random guy walked up to me and he's like, "Hey man, I need some food," I'd probably give him some, and then I'm gonna starve, and he's probably gonna send bandits to my house to kill me. You know what I mean? So I definitely wouldn't make it long. I got a. I'm a bad judge of character. Oh well, yeah, obviously, but me and you would be fucking Lee and Kenny, dude. <laughs> Me and you would be Lee and Kenny, and Bach, who would be that one racist asshole from the last her. season. You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bach. I don't know if Bach is here. That's not true. Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Oh, whoa! What the fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the one that. telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for you. <laughs> Clementine, you okay? I'm not... I'm not working for anyone. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. I just need help. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit And Luke's actually on our side now? You can't talk this guy. You cannot read his intentions. Ooh, this is Carlos. This sexy ass motherfucker, bro. Gray hair? Hell yeah. Trustworthy. Gray hair, dirty tank top, dude. It's okay. I'm Carlos. Go ahead. Damn, it's look okay. at my nipples, dude. What the fuck? Are you serious? They really just come out like that, huh? Damn, that must have hurt. Hmm. 
whatever it Dude, is. Dude, I wasn't telling you to look. I was like, I was looking. I was observing. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This isn't you're right. You're right. Man. When you're bit, you get put down. I wish I looked as cool as Carlos when I was old. I've seen myself with like old no man filters. I, I look like a trustworthy mechanic with those old filters, and that's not good. Uh, I know that worked for a customer. Actually, it's cool. I don't want to be like. I don't want to like look good when I'm old. I don't know. I want to look like funny. It worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then what? How would we know it worked? Just let. Sad eyes. First. <laughs> you don't want to do something you're going to regret. Better to be sure, right? Come on. She weighs about as much as a sack of flour. We can take her if it comes to that. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want a sad eyes, Pete. Pete's actually been cool. Sarah. What I say, stay inside. Damn, dude, let Sarah hang. Come on. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again. I promise. Clementine doesn't even have a gun anymore. Where exactly would you go? I can take care of myself. Clearly. Fuck you. Look, yeah, I'm stare at her, dude. At her, but still, she's just a kid. Worst case, she turns, and we can deal with it. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by with it. Please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. Come on, Alvin. God damn it. <laughs> That's fair. That'd be me. If I had a wife in the zombie apocalypse, you can just be sure I will make it no decisions for myself. I'll be my wife, the DLC, you know? I'd be an expansion of my wife. What she says goes. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. No, fuck you, dude. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time, you'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shed. He seems like an Alvin. That's a good name for him. I don't want to talk to this guy. Look, hold out the best you can, Clementine, and we'll see what's what in the morning. Fuck this guy behind me, too. Camo pants, no good. That should be the group sacrifice right there. White long sleeve shirt under a band shirt, untrustworthy. Camo pants, too, fuck them. To the wolves. Why are we doing this? It's so fucking dumb. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, safer for who? <sighs> I can't believe this. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. It makes sense to be hostile or trying to survive a zombie apocalypse. Yes. Uh, however, I believe this is probably a 78 pound, 8 year old girl with a dog bite. I believe in it there. I don't know any human who has an upper row of teeth that do this. I don't know one. No, you're okay too far. I was talking out of my ass right there. I don't have a problem with white lawn sleeves under a band shirt. I think... I think white lawn sleeves are the worst lawn sleeves, but... It's okay. I, I probably shouldn't have this army when they come in here. I don't think they're going to trust me any more than they do now. If they see I've weld a hammer. <laughs> I've armed myself with a hammer. Mm. 
Yeah, I've got the name five, so I was question. The thing that pisses me off is I have so many shirts of shit I like. I have like three POC shirts. I've got a couple Outcast shirts. I've got fucking like I, I have shirts of shit I like, you know? I'm I make an effort to try to clothe myself with things I'm fond of, right? Never in my life have I got a question on one of those. The one time I ever got that question was because I was wearing a fucking Nirvana shirt. You can buy Nirvana shirts at Walmart. I'm just trying to survive the fall, dude. I'm sorry. A guy walked up to me at a gas station and asked, and I just came up with something. Because I don't listen to Nirvana, okay? I'm cool with Nirvana. There's a couple songs I liked, right? But they're like the most popular songs. So I figured he would think that was a generic question, like generic answer. Safe answer. So I said some random shit. I said like, I don't remember what I said. I said like fucking Dark Waterfall. I said Dark Waterfall. I remember that. I said Dark Waterfall. And he said, huh, niche pick. Do you even know five songs? Why were you asking me? That's not a song. That doesn't exist. I, I don't know. I think about that a lot. <laughs> because I think it's fair to assume if someone's wearing a shirt of something that they know something about what's on their shirt, right? That being said, I think that Olive Branch does not reach out to shirts that are $2 at Walmart. You know what I mean? Some people just like the smiley face, man. And that's cool, right? If I'm a big Nirvana fan, you're wearing a Nirvana shirt, and I ask you about the shirt, and I figure out you don't listen to Nirvana, I'll be bummed out. I don't hate you. That doesn't mean take your shirt off. That doesn't mean, give me that shit! <laughs> that means, oh, sorry, I misunderstood. Just move on, you know? <laughs> a lot of people are kind of dramatic about that question. A lot of people say that if you get asked that, the person's an asshole no matter what. I think it's fair to ask somebody that question if you're just trying to make conversation. But if you're being like a dick on purpose with it, like, I bet you don't even know five songs because you're a girl and girls don't listen to music. Yeah, then you're a loser, right? But if you just walk up to someone and you're like, oh shit, Motley Crue? I like Motley Crue. You like Motley Crue? And they go, no. I think it's okay for you to go like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, but like, don't be a, don't be a dick. Don't confiscate their shirt, you know? You don't like kickstart my heart! I just rip it off, no, dude. This for stitches. What's up, Black Jesus? Happy to have you here. Oh, I didn't even know. I've got a ween jacket I and a Fiddler beanie. I don't listen to a lot of Fiddler anymore, but I think I'll always like Fiddler, right? I uh, It's my car, the beanie is. I keep it there just in case it's cold or my hair looks bad. Um, I like Fiddler. The Fiddler beanie is the thing I've got the most questions about. But I will say the ween jacket I've had the most positive encounters with. Everyone, like, and not everyone asks about the ween jacket, but like, I don't know, it's funny, I've only had three people understand, like, what's on my jacket, and those three experiences were all, like, so funny. One time, it was, like, a 68-year-old dude, he was old, like, I mean, like, his family was pushing him in a wheelchair, so he was already old when we was in their head, I mean, he wasn't young for that, he was probably already, like, 40, so I thought that was funny, <laughs> you know, that was cool, that's when I worked at Walmart. The other one, I also worked at Walmart, a guy just went, hey, when I was in, like, the middle of a conversation, I was like, I'll get to you in a sec, man, and he's like, no, I just like your jacket, have you seen him live? It's like, oh, no, maybe one day. I don't know. I don't, I don't go to a lot of shows. And he says, bummer. <laughs> let me know if you ever do. I can't let you know if I ever do. I don't know who you are. Last time I ever saw that guy. <laughs> and then other time, I think it was like, just like at the mall or something. And someone was like, I love Ween. And kept walking. <laughs> but I don't know. That's like Paul's and McCowners. I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? <laughs> who says bummer anymore? Well, I mean, the guy was like 40. Everyone who's recognized the ween jacket, I think it's been like probably like 30, 40, and then like 60. I don't know why the old ass dude like was recognizing it. I mean, good for him, but that's crazy. Because ween's like annoying like college stoner music. I, I can say that. I like them, right? So that shit kind of floored me. <laughs> I was a little surprised.
Like, can you fucking imagine, like, an, like an old dude on crutches listening to Ocean Man? I just feel like that's crazy. It warms my heart a little bit, but I feel like it's crazy. <laughs> Why am I breaking out of this? This is like the worst idea ever, isn't it? No, I don't have any Deftone shirts. Deftone shirts suck. I don't know if you've ever seen a Deftone shirt. They have the worst, like, merchandise team ever. I, I like Deftones. I think Deftones are okay. They're not in, like, my top, like, ten or anything like that. But I've seen a lot of hate for Deftones online just because they got popular again. And let's remember that White Pony was, like, one of the biggest albums ever when it came out. <laughs> I think people saying Deftones got popular is crazy. More people started listening to Deftones because they're already popular, okay? I think you're being, like, a whiny little pussy if you if you try to, like, be different and say they suck just because they're popular. That being said, I just think Deftones are okay. I like a couple songs, you know? I like, like, eight Deftones songs. That's, like, it. I They have some stinkers on their discography. One of my favorite bands is Gorillaz. Gorillaz has a 50-50 discography. You'll listen to one song and love it, and the next will be the worst shit you ever heard, right? So, I respect Deftones. That being said... Every Deftones shirt is just a skull, and it says Deftones. Or it's just, it just says Deftones, or it's a flower, and it says Deftones. Worst fucking shirts ever. They're so bad. Olivia Rodrigo has cooler shirts than Deftones. I was at Hot Topic the other day with a buddy. Dude, Olivia Rodrigo has some hardcore-ass shirts. Olivia Rodrigo has shirts of, like, zombie cops. Like, like her, but, like, it's like a skeleton and shit. Olivia Rodrigo has some fucking... The Dep Deptones said the hard R in a song. <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, dude. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Olivia Rodrigo, Hot Topic. Uh, at Hot Topic, they had a board where you can, like, say what shirts you want to see. Like, what merch you want to see from certain bands. And me and my friend wrote with both of our hands so it looked different every time and we wrote french montana like five times and put it like in between other names and we kept like adding arrows next to it and going please <laughs> so if you start seeing some french montana shirts at hot topic that's me <laughs> yeah panchico's cool i like panchico Yeah, I didn't know Deftone said the hard R in a song. Have you seen the, uh, the System of a Down Wu-Tang Clan song? That's crazy. That's really fucking crazy. That, that, I mean, if you look that up, you're gonna, like, your jaw's gonna hit the fucking floor like an anvil. Like a, like a bucket of water on top of a door. Went to a corn concert and it stunk really bad? Dude, it, it, corn is like white guys with dreads. The band itself already stinks. Did you think the other people were gonna smell good? Did you think the fans were gonna smell good? Uh, I don't like actively listen to Weezer. I'm cool with some Weezer. I like the opening chords to Undone, the sweater song, and then everything else in the sweater song, I think is kind of annoying, but those opening chords literally, like I'll, I'll stand like it's the fucking the Pledge of Allegiance every single time. Alex G is cool. I like Alex G. I actually, uh, I had a bunch of people on TikTok, big Alex G fans, uh, gatekeeping and getting really, like, possessive over Alex G because I said that Sarah sounds like Little Big Planet music. I like Sarah. That's a good, I, I like that song. That song could easily be in a Little Big Planet game. Okay. And I had people in the comments, like, this is what the TikTokification of Alex G and Little Big Planet has done. Look at this fucking poser. He's never listened to Alex G and he's never played Little Big Planet. Okay, first of all, you need your ass beat for going around telling me I haven't played Little Big Planet. Okay? That actually pissed me the fuck off. I responded and I was like, you know Little Big Planet is like one of the most popular games ever, right? Little Big Planet 2 is in every household in America right now, I promise you. Even someone who doesn't have a PlayStation has Little Big Planet. Who just honked? Okay. But, like, then this motherfucker responded. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard about Little Big Planet a month ago on TikTok. <laughs> ah! Ah! I, just want, I, I just wanted to do that, dude. Alex G's cool, though. He's got some range.
Uh, Death Grips is another Weezer situation. I don't listen to them actively. I like a couple songs. I dislike a couple songs. I, I'm very fond of the Money Store album. I think it is a really cool cover, and I, I just kind of like most of the songs on there, but I'm not like a huge Death Rips fan. I think MC Ride is some of the coolest tats ever. I don't think it's a good idea for me to be sneaking around, by the way. If they see me, they're going to blast my ass. It won't take long. There's a few I, I think I... I think I literally have, like, one Garden song on my playlist. Let me check. I get compared to the twins all the fucking time. It was so much worse when I had blonde hair. Yeah, I have one song from the Garden in my playlist. I have AMPM Truck from Kiss My Super Bowl Ring. That's it. That's the only song I can speak for. That's a cool song, though. I think it's hard. It's like... It's kind of whiny. I like it. I like a whiny guitar. Need to discuss. Sure, man, cruising, but I pushed myself too hard. I knew it better, but yeah, I took it too far. <laughs> I remember that line. I don't think I should open this. This is going to break my knife. 110%. Okay. Okay. Hammer's gonna make too much noise. That's gonna break my knife, and I know my hand's not gonna do anything. Perfect. We uh we don't win here. We lose. Well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this. Reading books in the zombie apocalypse must be fucking awesome. It's probably the best thing you can do. I have like like 50 books I've bought in the last year that I have not gotten around to reading yet. If if I just like heard that some dude ate somebody in like Vegas, I'd have all these books done by the end of the week. <laughs> I feel like that'd just be the push I needed, you know? I fucking hate houses that have signs like this. You're not a restaurant, dude. We know where the fucking kitchen is. There's no way. She could be. We don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she's out here alone. Tap to hide? What do you mean tap yeah, to hide? right. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. They show up and we've got her locked in. I'm happy they realize how bad that looks on them. I bet Sarah's in here, dude. Fucking reading in the dark. Guarantee it. Everyone's gonna be reading the Communist Manifesto and Zombie Pops. Won't take long. <laughs> it's like three pages. stinks at Tekken. It's either you stink at Tekken or you stink in real life. If you're good at Tekken, you have an aura of green. <laughs> I'm not talking grass, I'm talking ass. You don't smell great. I, I very easily forget what I'm doing in this game. <laughs> oh, hey. Guys, I know this is corny. I want to show you, though, because it's very cool. I haven't posted this anywhere because I haven't got their permission, but if I just briefly flash it on the screen, I think it's okay. Uh, the person I've been hanging out recently uh, drew me and them as Parappa the Rappa and Jammer Lammy. 
and I'm wearing that fit right now. I've got PJs on though, but I wore jeans the other day at my new balances. Look at how fucking cool that is. You can't see that. You cannot see that. Look at how fucking cool that is. Is that not the coolest shit ever, dude? That's so fucking sick. And then they're right here. That's hard. Tell me that's not hard, dude. That's so fucking cool. I, I've wore this shirt every day since that picture got drawn. I have not taken this fucking shirt off. I probably smell terrible. I'm kidding. I wash it. I, I wash the shirt. <laughs> I mean, this is my color right now, man. Red is my color right now. Red hair, I'm loving it. Red shirt, I'm loving it. I'm just having a good time with the red, man. Should I just, like, go back to the barn? I gotta get supplies? Oh, okay. I don't want to be out here, dude. The tank top has me sweating, dude, but I'm not going to take this shirt off and just wear a tank top for the rest of the stream. Easiest way to make myself look like an asshole. Just raw tank top him. I feel like this room is completely pointless, which means I probably missed something. Because I wouldn't be able to walk in here if it was pointless. You know, I, I've been seeing people say they don't like the term wife beater for a tank top. And I've always called a tank top a wife beater. Just because, for me, tank tops have a pretty negative connotation. <laughs> like, just, just like, I know like my dad wore tank tops, right? And I don't fucking like my dad, right? So I've always just agreed with calling it that. But... I do agree that we probably shouldn't call tank tops that. That being said, some people have been calling tank tops wife pleasers. I don't think we should call it that either. I don't think a guy in like a sweaty ass white tank top screams wife pleaser to me. Okay. Probably shouldn't like use wife beater either because I mean that's just like a that's like a domestic abuse thing, right? And so yeah, let's not use that. But I don't think wife pleaser is exactly catching on anytime soon. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a little corny. A-Lines? I don't think that'll catch on either. A-Line sounds like a, a retro superhero. I agree. Just get rid of the white thing entirely. Like, tank top's fine, man. Cum gutters? Who, who did that? You're on Twitter too much. <laughs> Come gutters. God, that, that's some porn addict shit, man. Not exactly bandages. Who's your favorite they superhero? Stop the bleeding. I'm a big Spider-Man fan, obviously. I love Invincible. I love Devil Man. I love Moon Knight. That being said, I think number one is going to have to be Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man just changed the trajectory of my life in general. <laughs> I'm like, I'm a big Chainsaw Man defender. I think I always will be. Rexplode, I want to talk about that. This season of Invincible has really fucked with my head because of Rex in particular. Rex is the least likable character in all of fiction. Like, I mean, he fucking sucks. He's as bad as, like, Icy Spoon in the original Night of the Hunter, right? But one moment of him bossing up and taking a bullet to the head and then saying, I'm going to be a better man. Now he's, like, my favorite character in that show. Does that mean I'm a bastard? I feel like I shouldn't forgive him that easily. <laughs> but then I remember that he's 18, and... I'm not going to say every teenager cheats on their girlfriend, okay? And I'm not going to say every teenager... Actually, every teenager is annoying. That's true. But I like to see, I like to see a good coming-of-age story. I like to see a, a man realize that he has not been a good man and do better, right? But this isn't even a man situation. This kid's 18, right? 
He's been a piece of shit at like age 16 and 17. His life's just starting. I'm kind of rooting for him. Not to mention, he was beating the fuck out of a dude with no hand. He was stabbing him with his arm stuff. That's hard. He won my respect. <laughs> he, he won me over. It took one scene and he got me. Which, it just feels crazy to me because I hated him the whole fucking rest of the show. I'm not going to steal that watch. They are not going to trust me if I take that watch. Yeah, I love Trigun. I'm a big Trigun fan. I don't have any, like, Trigun memorabilia, but I'm fond. Man, that is not a Rolex. <laughs> That's like a, a Hartson. That's a Citizen. <laughs> That's a Citizen watch right there. Dude. Peter or Miles? Okay, well, I grew up on Peter. I relate more to Peter. And Peter's has been around longer for me, so I do like Peter. But that being said... Miles is on, like, an all-star run right now. Peter has, like, two good movies, a decent movie, and an okay movie, and then a whole bunch of bad movies. Right now, Miles has two extremely amazing movies. I feel like denying Miles his sauce just because he's new to the scene is pretty ridiculous. But I've just been with Peter for so long that I kind of feel inclined to say Peter. But I can't really pick... I don't know. If I was a kid growing up right now, Miles would be my go. Okay? If I was like five years old right now, Miles would be... I'd be Miles every year for Halloween. He'd be my favorite character of all time. You know? But I already went through that with Pete. <laughs> you feel me? I feel like Miles and Peter are both valid answers right there because they both have individual sauce. You're not supposed to be in here. Godzilla minus one was good, yeah. I'm really pleasant surprise. I'm happy I got an extended theatrical run because it was only in theater for like two days when I saw it. What are you reading? A book? What book? I like books. It's called The Gurgles. It's about transdimensional body snatchers. Okay, she's cool. <laughs> what happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. You want to see it? Um, it really wasn't one of them. It really wasn't. It's like clearly a dog bite. I think that's what pisses me off so bad. Ew. You have to bandage it, like my dad does. Yeah, I know. Help me. Well, the other two answers were ridiculous. Your dad doesn't give a fuck about me. <laughs> or I'm gonna die. I, I'll just like, hey, <laughs> look. <laughs> you know, I feel like that's better. That's probably the best way to deal with that. I need something to clean it with. And I need a needle with thread to sew it up. Do you know where those things are? You know, the bathroom's right across the hall. I probably could have just went in there. Kind of. Really? Seems like he would. We don't have much. He's still trying to restock since we moved. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. I forgot to post that I'm live on TikTok. To be fair though, I fucking hate my TikTok followers, so I don't think it really matters that much. I'll take a picture. Been live. Been love. I'm not fixing that. Been live with The Walking Dead for like an hour. And didn't post anything. You know how it goes. Twit is there music playing right now? I can like faintly hear music. What What is coming out of my phone? K-Dot? There. Let's post that. Well, I'll get... Story post. I don't give a shit. My age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know. Rebecca is okay, but she's old, and that's it. And if her baby is a girl, I just met you. We're not friends. Fuck it, I'll be my friend. And then I'll be. We 
Yes, we are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. I promise. Me too. Friends. Parasocial! I'm not touching your finger. I don't know, hot girl. This is not a character I'm familiar enough with to speak on. Pinky swears forever. Well, dude, what if you're like racist or Let's something? See if I can't I can keep find that. The stuff my dad uses when I get a gun. Let me look around. Well, she's probably not racist. I'm pretty sure Clementine is like mixed. I don't. I don't think. I think the odds of Sarah being racist are pretty low, actually. I think this is it. Not to mention, there's someone of like every ethnicity in this household. I think Sarah's there. Someone will find you. Don't worry, I won't. I don't know. I forgot what her parents look like. I, I think Clementine's mixed. I, I think. I remember seeing a picture of her parents in her house, I think. I think she has like a fat white mom. No, that's a... Uh... That's Kenny's wife. Katja. Katja. I remember that. Was she cool or not? I don't remember her character. I'm not getting. I'm not taking that watch. The, uh, the trust is gonna like dip down to negative twenty if I grab that watch. I love Shark Boy and Lava Girl as a kid. That movie fucking sucks though. I'm not a critic or nothing. I mean, we just need to be real. It's clean. I guess that's all I need. I better get out of here. Have medical supplies around here somewhere. Uh. Oh, okay. No, Clem's not mixed then. Shit. Sorry, everybody. She's black and Asian. Really. Come into the bathroom to hold your head and say, damn it. Let it be okay and let it be his. Did she cheat? Cheater? Hashtag real cheater? Hashtag pumpkin eater? Oh, yeah, I'm telling for sure. Fuck her. <laughs> Clint, look, that's you. <laughs> Spy Kids is a beast, dude. <laughs> what was I looking for again? Am I looking for something in particular? I don't remember. I don't remember. Hey, Sarah. What are you still doing here? Where can I stitch up my arm? I don't know. Somewhere no one can hear you, which is like not in here. They'll find you for sure. I should probably just go back to the cabin, dude. I hope your arm feels better. Thanks, Sarah. We're friends, right? Jesus, right. dude. I'm in the bathroom? Motherfucker, I'm sitting there. They're gonna hear me if I'm in the bathroom. Why did I just listen to you? I just listened to Elmo. I just listened to a three year old. God damn it. You need to go somewhere. They won't hear you. Go to the bathroom. It's across the hall. <laughs> it's through one door, bro. Fuck. Why did I listen to that guy? I'm mad at myself. This is why I would die in the apocalypse. Do you play guitar? I tried. I have an acoustic guitar right there off camera. Um, and I had a, a black uh, Fender Squire six string for a while. And I practiced like every day and I just never really got good. Uh, I, I gave up. I actually have my cube right here, my amp. Uh, one sec. That's untuned. 
Uh, and I, I have like the, uh, I don't actually have the cube. I, I think, we, I think we sold it. I have the box though. I tried. I tried. I failed. I moved on. <laughs> don't let it keep you down. I actually tried to learn keyboard too. I have like a three hundred dollar Yamaha that I saved up for for like two years when I was a kid. Didn't work. Actually, if you want to know something embarrassing about me, people will make fun of you for this in the fucking instrument player community. I actually have the letters of the notes wrote on that keyboard <laughs> with Sharpie. To learn the notes, I wrote them on the keyboard with a dry erase marker. Um, that really pisses people off. <laughs> that, like... That makes people very angry, uh, evidently. <laughs> this tea is really nasty. I do not... I don't endorse this brand. This isn't very good. Uh, it's, it's Milo's. It is Milo's. At the store, they actually had three options. They had famous recipe, extra sweet, and super sweet. And I think that's interesting. <laughs> this, this shit is like overbearingly sweet. Dude, something that pissed me off. In my Arizona iced tea video, I said it was bland. It is a bland flavor. It's green tea, okay? That being said, I also said it's very, like, oversweet. People were saying that those don't go together. Sweet isn't a fucking flavor, okay? That's like saying spicy is a flavor. If you eat a spicy garlic chicken wing... That is, that, the flavor is garlic, okay? The heat is spicy. That's, that's the same thing with tea to me, okay? If you drink tea and it tastes like nothing, the flavor is bland, okay? That doesn't mean it's not sweet, all right? The sweet is the sweetness. That's like not, they're not comparable, you know what I mean? That pisses me off. I just want that, I want it to be known. That's all. I've never had peace tea. I think they have cool cans, though. I always see them at the theater whenever I whenever I go to watch a, a flick. That snapple makes me sick, bro. <laughs> there goes their fucking peroxide. Drop that whole bottle, it's leaking right now. They're gonna be pissed when they come in here. Fine. Now the fun part. Yeah, that's what pissed me off about fucking Arizona tea fans too, bro. They act like that shit's godly, but they literally like like two flavors. That kind of makes me really angry. <laughs> They'll call me an idiot for not liking it, but I picked one of the 50 flavors they don't like. Maybe don't swear by a brand. I hate brand loyalty. They're brands! They're brands! You know what pisses me off? Oh my god, this makes me so mad. I know, like, we've only played this game for, like, five minutes of the two-hour stream. It makes me so fucking mad when a brand puts out, like, a like a promotional piece of work, right? Like, a commercial or something. Or an ad, okay? And people will make that ad trend as, like, a meme. Like, Sprite Cranberry. Like, fucking eat spicy goodness like a boss. You're, you're, you're advertising for them. You're giving these brands exactly what they fucking want. Do you know how angry that makes me? They'll be like, oh my god, dude, Sprite Cranberry is so ass. I'm gonna post like 50 videos of the LeBron James commercial. Good job. Now 70 other dipshits just like you just bought Sprite Cranberry for a video, and then 100 are gonna get it from his video. And then some dude on TikTok with 2 million followers is gonna record himself drinking it to an audio. 
500,000 people who are going to get Sprite Cranberry. It... Motherfuckers just advertise for free, bro. It, it makes... It actually... And I've done it before unintentionally. I did it with the Grimace bullshit. And I don't even... I hate McDonald's. I hate McDonald's. I am not a McDonald's supporter. I, one of my best selfies of all time is with that fucking god-awful Grimace shake. Before that was even a trend. Before that was a trend, I went there and I saw that on the menu. And I went, what the fuck is the Grimace shake? And so I took a picture with it. It's like the best picture of me in existence. But I don't support McDonald's, so I took that shit down, right? <laughs> and I, I feel like I contributed to that. There had to at least be one motherfucker who went and got that shake because of me. And it will, like a, like a knife in my vertebrae, for the rest of my life, I will haunt. I will be haunted. Piss me off. Mint? I wouldn't say it was mint. That shit didn't taste minty at all. That shit tasted like flapjacks. It was very, very nasty, purpley flavor. But not a great purpley. It's like a, you know, like molten Fruit Loop. It's not, not very good. <laughs> Grape milkshake sounds extremely disgusting, yeah. You know how good a grape flavored shit would be if it actually tasted like grape? No. It'd be an unbeaten just flavor. Like but unfortunately, just it's just some other bullshit me. that they call grape. What, what exactly am I doing? Tough it out. Tough it out, young beast. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> they probably think she's turning out here, dude. I guarantee that pregnant asshole in there is probably thinking, I was right. <laughs> you we're saying it right now. I can hear it. They probably think she's a fucking werewolf. Who's Nick? Nick is not pregnant. I doubt we're talking about the same person. It's so crazy that this is just something that humans have to do. I think that's so interesting to me. Like, if there's, like, a hole, we just we just get some string and we just fucking, like, deal with it. I think that's so funny that we do that. But, I mean, it's fair. I mean, if, like, an animal gets a cut, it's over. <laughs> you know? So, I guess I get it. It's just so fucking weird. Treating your arm like a fucking t-shirt. I don't know, it just intrigues me, you know? Why isn't it bleeding? You see how much blood's already around it, dude? I think she ran out. <laughs> She's fainted like three times. <laughs> ABAB? What the fuck does that stand for? <laughs> Are you serious? That's bullshit. That's actually, that's just ridiculous. Kick that motherfucker. Kick him again. Kick him again. That's that's a bite, that's a bite, that's a bite, that's a bite. Kick him again. Kick him again. La, 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 la. Grab it! God. <laughs> motherfucker, dude, kick him! Oh, grab that. Lob it. Kobe! <laughs> and that is a weak ass brick throw. Hit him harder! God damn it, we're out of bricks. Uh. Grab that brick. Are you serious? Are you serious? Execute him. 
Beautifully done. Do him like a dog. Do him like the dog, whatever the fuck it's name was. I tried to grab the- I took the watch. The zombie would have went, oh shit, hold on, can I look at that? <laughs> what time is it? My bad, I'm tripping. It's 3 a.m. <laughs> I don't even know, dude. It's not what's gonna fucking happen. <laughs> My bad, it's too early for this. Break him. Break him. Rake him. I got the combo down now, you motherfucker. You look Italian. Take this. <laughs> motherfucker. Holy shit. What? How did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? I'm still not bitten. Cold. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? Yeah, you cheated on your husband, motherfucker. Done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. I did. I took stuff, and I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? Snitch on her, snitch on her. Damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this. Snitch one. on her immediately. Just I'm sorry, Alan. Can I just let it rip? Bring let it in. fly, man! I can't fucking hold this in. Look, it's sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Oh. <laughs> Redneck came around. Yeah, nod. <laughs> Now oh, fuck blackmail or I'm letting that shit fly. I'm not I'm not gonna manipulate her. I'm putting it on the table and I'm being on my merry fucking way. I I have nothing to gain for, for her being pregnant with another man's baby. I just wanna fucking put it out there and leave. I just wanna fuck up everything they got going here. And move on. Suturing skills need some work, but otherwise I say she should be fine. So it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. I'm not seeing an amazing grace. Why are you asking me that? Is this a fetish? You got a church fetish? What day is it? Don't let me see that motherfucker in four days. Three days. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Fuck you. You still are. You big dusty no, pussy. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. There needs to be a fuck you button in this game. Out, but there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. She knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there. She would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. She needs to grow up sometime. You do not know what she needs. You're gonna suck my dick, Carlos? How about that? Let me plop it on the table. <laughs> someone else, that your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure, you are not to be trusted. Stay Turn around and say for sure. Water. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's how you know someone's an asshole. Did they walk out of the room and they go fucking... <laughs> Fuck you. Open the door. 
That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. It doesn't bother me. I can live with it. Wow. Nice. <laughs> I like how this guy's like, he's like cool and then he's an asshole. Then he's cool and then he's an asshole. This is a real guy who could exist. <laughs> Some motherfuckers who just can't read. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry. Hey, uh. Those were my grits. <laughs> aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Oh, Nick's shit. Been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. I'll, I'll get it to him. Okay. Carlos is my enemy, and so pregnant is my enemy. Just, That's it right now. We had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick fuck is he a Criterion fan? What is on his we hat? We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. This guy just fucking loves Martin Scorsese. Fault. We. I don't think we've even heard the pregnant blood. woman's name yet. We couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. You want me to cry for you, dude? I shot my dad. Man, uh, hopefully you understand. fucking thirty. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You let yourself heal up, take some time to sort things out. Hell yeah. He earned my trust with that right there. That might not mean a lot to everyone in the chat, but I hear it. He can't. <laughs> I hear it. He can't. If you short you can to so just fucking four letters, you got me. Because I do that shit. We'll be okay with it. They'll just have to deal with it. So... What happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. Jamaicans are probably cool, yeah. <laughs> why, why? What happened to them is. <laughs> Why'd you say what that? Happened to just about everyone's Shout parents. out Jamaica, fuck it. Just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh. That's I tough. <laughs> tough backstory, bro. I'm sorry. I... You're fucking raw, dude. Hey, Nick. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. That's true. We saw them in that crowd. That was a funny moment because I don't know why they expected That's me to crazy. recognize her dead parents. Name this man found me and took care of me. Where did this take place? I mean, this is like cross America. I think we've literally been everywhere by this point. It didn't work. I, I think last thing I knew, we were like headed towards Canada. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? No, I mean, that's the thing. I don't have any, like, lights or anything in my room, so once the sun comes down, you can't see me in here anymore. It's kind of a thing. Hold on. How about I open this one up? Oh, yeah, it's definitely in the south. I, I just remember... I, I swear I remember them saying something about Canada, but, I mean, that's going to take a fucking minute. Pilgrims couldn't even pull that shit off. And those guys just move. That's their duty. <laughs> if you're a pilgrim, you just move. The same thing that happens to everyone... But he saved me first, lots of times. Well, it sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah, he was. You did get that butter chicken. You never answered me. Did you get anything else with that, or you just straight slam a butter chick? Butter chick. I butter chick. Tara. Fuck, I'm dude. I'm standing and watch, and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in, anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner. Wouldn't that be nice? Tr 
trustworthy hairline. That's my hairline. Look, same hairline as that guy. We're cool. We're tight like this for lifers. <laughs> Fuck Sarah. Bring that pinky here, old man. You're still here. You cheated on your husband. And you're frowning at me. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. Don't talk to me like that. Oh, what? You can't pull some shit on me. I'm not my husband. You should watch your language if you're going to be a mom. You should watch your ass if you know what's good for you. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You cheated on your husband. You got what you came here for. Now go. Say something as she's walking out. Say, say like, say bitch, under your breath. <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> it's beautiful. That's what it looks like outside my window right now. It's actually crazy how dark it is in this room. It, it looks really nice out. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Stop asking when me fucking going, Star Trek ass her questions. Back. Her bark's worse than her bite. She's all talk. She doesn't scare me. She was in a mood last night, that's for sure. She cheated on her husband. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? Damn right. right. I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. We need to get fucking Clementine like a, a 44 Magnum. I think that'd be age. cool. First time I took him hunting. We need to get her a gun bigger than her fucking head. 13 point buck just standing there on the ridge line. I want Clem posted up like Death the Kid by the end of the game. Shot just like I taught him and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. <laughs> hey. Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I found that. That's exactly how I act. <laughs> Shot it right in the neck. I don't know where the fucking river is. My sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means See people you, love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line. Raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Not nice Uncle Pete! <laughs> I want to be yelled at. Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. All three? Oh. All three. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet. But it ain't your average gang of thugs. That I think it was that pregnant lady back at the house. I heard her Think talking about, about this. Your Carver, what do you do? Who's heard her talking about killing three motherfuckers by the river. I think their names were Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. 
River's like a walk away. Shouldn't we have heard this? This guy's got a cool jacket. This is a... That's not any language that exists in this the real world. Shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. Joseph. Remember when I first figured out last season that we can walk faster by holding R2? What a fucking discovery that was. Found out like 12 hours into the there game. There are more out there. Damn, Laura, you're Supposed just throwing money at me. Huh? You want me to take my pants off or something? What was it then? Fubar. Motherfucker's strapping money going? in my thong the whole we need stream. To get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? I'm gonna end this stream and the Lord's gonna be outside my son. house. Calm down. We gotta get out of here now. Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself. What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Because they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there. Nick dies right here. I'm sure. Stumble across this mess. I'd be more useful with a gun. I don't doubt it. At some point, you guys have to. Nick's probably like 26. I ain't surviving this. But not everyone's at that point yet. Give them time. Look, just Damn. Head on My red shirt looks black in here. That, that actually looks cool as fuck. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't any I think that's a stick, actually. No. Good. He's shooting with a, a fucking a spear thrower. Shot him with a cannon with a spear in it. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. I mean, if he's not gonna give me a fucking weapon, Clementine should probably just take this spear, right? It's probably like double her size, but I mean, it can't hurt. Or can I at least take the knife off the end of it? I don't want to use a spear. I mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah, this one's Mary right here. They went out together. What's that guy saying? I can't read Arabic. Let me know what that guy said. <coughs> what happened to you? Cool hair. You were in the woods with Krista, the woman I was with. What happened to her? Oh shit! I didn't read the situation correctly. Tell me. Tell me. <coughs> He's in the back. Water. Please. Water. <laughs> I know the string game says two guys twenty-two. I don't know why it says that. <coughs> Whatever. Don't let his lips touch it. We're gonna drink that later. Thank you. Thank you. Ah! Oh, fucker. Oh hey. my god. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just, just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Oh, oh no. God damn it! Not ammo. Come this way. Oh. Damn it! You get your asses over here, both of you. I'll cover you. We gotta get out of here. He doesn't have fucking ammo. I help him, dude. Did you listen? Come on! Come on! Jesus! Fuck! <laughs> uh, I got that. Hustle! Boom, bitch! Boom! 
It's that fucking, it's that groomer with the fucking varsity jacket. We saw that guy earlier. We said, we already dealt with you, you motherfucker. We say like a brick in your head. No, dude, you're fucking kidding. Run! God. Easily outrun these bombs, man. Damn, really? Okay. I love varsity jackets. I just look really bad. Them. One of my favorite jackets is a varsity jacket, though. It's right there. I have a Raising Cane's one, too. I just got that. Shout out Raising Cane's. I love that place. Someone came here looking for you. A man. Uh, what? okay, so Did he say what his name was? neither Dude, Nick nor is. Pete are in any of these. One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? Yeah, damn right, I'm a candy egg. Hold on. Put your money where your mouth is. Where's this up? Oh. Yeah, like fucking Akuma. Like Akuma, dude, I fucking... See that shit? Fuck with me. <laughs> I do like the game, so... Which is weird, but I'm pretty sure it's just mayo and ketchup, and I hate both of those condiments. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. That looks evil, bro. I thought you were dead. <laughs> it's been. <laughs> now that guy's the most dead person in the world. Yes, I do. I fucking hate coleslaw. Okay, let's see. Most people would. Okay, now that I know that both Pete and Nick are gonna die, clearly, I wish I just went with Nick because I think Nick could have been saved. Pete, I mean, he was done so either way. I don't lose anything giving that guy water. I don't, I don't know why people didn't give him water. He's probably a piece of shit, yeah, but I mean, I'm not going to jump the gun on that. I can possibly have information. Maybe he's just one of those Y2K weirdos who likes wearing fucking small-ass Hello Kitty shirts and children's backpacks, you know? It might be a different backpack. It might not even be mine. He might have got that shit at the mall. I can't listen to this. Guarantee I can't listen to that. <laughs> promise you. A hundred percent, man. I I don't think we're going to play more today. How long, how long were we live? Two hours? That's not bad. I think that's a right time to end. All right. That was, that was fun. I want to fucking stream more. I don't know if I'll always announce when I stream because, I mean, you saw how it went this time. I, I picked three days and two of them didn't even work, but fucking... I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying because I really do enjoy this shit. You guys are a lot cooler than my followers literally anywhere else. I think an episode of stream is good too. I agree. We have fun, everybody? <laughs> do we have fun, everybody? Type 1 in chat if you had fun, and type 2 if you want me to die. <laughs> Let's see it, everybody. Mayor is your band. You want to act a you you want to act court jester, then be hanged. <laughs> Six. That's just ridiculous. Oh yeah, that was that was a fun little stream. Short, sweet, pretty cool. Short, sweet, and full of meat. Like meat and taters, you know? Like it's filling. It was a filling, satisfying, fulfilling stream. I missed it, ripped. Damn it, Darth Balls. <laughs> Motherfucker. Can't do shit. Why does it say I'm streaming WWE? I actually, I see that now on my screen. I thought like it would just autocorrect that shit. 2K22, too, of every game. It's like not even the new one. It's old. 
any teaser for the new Bumble season? <laughs> You'd actually be very happy to hear what I have to say regarding that. I have 15, 30 hour. I've got about five hours of gameplay recorded for the new Bumble, <laughs> for the new Bumble stream, or for the new Bumble like season. Mia, uh, we're, we're still making characters. I mean, we need 30 before we can even do a Royal Rumble, right? So we've just been making characters and doing like 1v1s and shit, and this game is a lot of personality. I'm gonna leave it like that. You could do a lot of funny ass shit with the AI. Uh, to anybody who liked Traffic Fighter previously though, it, they are like the worst character in the entire fucking lineup now. They're like, I don't know what happened, but they're like literally fucking evil. I don't know what it is, Traffic Fighter is, like, ridiculously evil, though. I mean, it's it's comical. I don't know what happened. Will Shipman return? Unfortunately, probably. We actually have a character named Reddit Ranger. He's a brown Power Ranger with a fedora and a wizard t-shirt. And he has shit all over his ass. So I think you'll like that. They actually let you go free cam in this game. So every now and then I'll just, like, zoom in on his ass with the shit on it. Darth Balls won't be in it, but Darth Smalls will. We love Darth Smalls. He's like the Dominican one. He's awesome. We're definitely bringing it back. He's the one with like the fat ass. Chat deemed him Dominican, so I'm gonna go with it. I mean, you guys basically make the lore, you know. Biggest ass on the Bumble, dude. It's crazy. All the characters have intros now, by the way. Wasn't that case before. I think like two head intros before. Now everyone does. I think it's going to be a pretty entertaining season. I think y'all are going to fuck with it. We're, uh, we're putting in a lot extra work. A lot. I probably will not put Lee in the Bumble. Uh, we we kind of do our own guys for that. <laughs> oh yeah, every character is an entrance. And they're like... Uh, we did make a custom arena. It kind of sucks. It's just brick. The entire ring is brick. The ropes are brick. The apron's brick. The floor is brick. The ring is brick. Everything's brick. We just call it the brick. And it gets bloody, dude. <laughs> Red Ranger comes in on a fucking Razor scooter, dude. That's how that's you know that shit's gonna be good. Did he message you in Greek? <laughs> that shit's gonna knock you on your ass, buddy. You're gonna be flying towards that like an apple pie in a windowsill, and you're a fucking cartoon dog. Yeah, Baku, you do. <laughs> Some of them could probably stay default. Some of them, I don't think it'd be important to have a move set. But for characters like Starman and shit, can't hurt. You know what I mean? Some some characters are probably pretty self-explanatory. They could have like a default move set and it'd be fine. I mean, like Bluetooth, I doubt his move set needs to be crazy. He's a brawler and he does brawler shit. You know, but like Disease Man and shit, absolutely gonna need a move set. Alright, I'm gonna get off here, everybody. This was a really fun stream. I'll try to let you know in advance if I'm streaming again. This was good. I liked this. Pretty good show-up, too. We had, like, 40 people the whole time. That's rare. I normally have, like, a steady 10. No one really talks, either. We had, like, everybody talking. There was always something to talk about. That was, that was This was cool. I like this more every time I do it. I have a plan move set for Blue Store. Don't make him, like, a high flyer or anything. Bluchador is, like, all, like, punches. He's a, he's a street fighter, Baku. I'm just making sure. I'm making sure you know that. Uh, by the way, Baku, we just, like, I mean, we haven't been doing movesets. They're all default, but, like, every character's been doing completely drastically different shit. Is that just a thing in this game? I mean, some of the characters are the same moveset as the other character, but they don't do any of the same shit the other character does. That's just something I've noticed. It's, like, really cool, actually. Uh, yeah, right, I'm sorry. Hey, we'll see you, like, next Monday, though, won't we? God, I'm sweating, bro. I'm sweating, and I am not switching to tank top on the fucking stream, so I think I think it's time we call this off. But, uh, thanks for watching, guys. This was really fun. Let's do this again soon. Whoa. It went black before I even ended it. <laughs> I'm right behind you.